Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the pulse of the gaming community. Today, we're tackling a hot topic that's got the Diablo 4 community fired up. The controversy surrounding the latest Dark Pathways microtransaction content. So, grab your gear, and let's explore what's causing the uproar and what it means for players and the future of Diablo 4. Alright, adventurers, let's get into the nitty gritty. Diablo 4, Blizzard's latest entry in the legendary action RPG series, has been under the microscope since its launch in 2023, primarily due to its in-game shop and microtransaction model. The latest sparked igniting fan frustration. The Dark Pathways bundle a $30 package offering class-specific colored portals, among other items. At first glance, $30 for some flashy portals and 1,000 Platinum Diablo 4's premium currency might not seem outrageous in the world of microtransactions. However, when you consider that Diablo 4 is a premium triple, a title that players have already shelled out full price for, the temperature in the room starts to rise. Fans are questioning the value, especially when comparing what's essentially cosmetic flair to the cost of the game itself. The Dark Pathways bundle features five colored portals, each tailored to match the game's classes with unique animations, twisting branches for druids, a menacing skull for necromancers, and so on. While the attention to detail is appreciated, the community can't help but feel that the pricing is off the mark. The sentiment is that these types of cosmetic enhancements should be rewards within the game, or, at the very least, more affordably priced. The frustration doesn't stop with just the Dark Pathways bundle. Remember the Father's Judgment Collection? A $65 bundle that came with a new mount and horse armor. It's clear that Diablo 4's live service model, which includes seasonal content and battle passes, is testing the limits of what players are willing to accept in terms of additional spending. And let's not forget the broader context here. The gaming community is increasingly vocal about the value they receive from their purchases. When players point out that the cost of the Dark Pathways bundle could get them a hit indie game like Pal World instead, it's a clear signal that the conversation around microtransactions and player satisfaction is more important than ever. Despite the backlash, Blizzard hasn't signaled any shifts in its pricing strategy for Diablo 4's in Game Shop. As we move forward, it'll be interesting to see how this affects player engagement and the game's seasonal content rollout especially considering some players' frustrations with Season 3's content and mechanics. So, what do you think about the Dark Pathways bundle and Diablo 4's microtransaction model? Is it just the cost of doing business in today's gaming world, or should players expect more from a full-price triple A title? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. As always, if you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button, subscribe for more gaming news and insights, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Until next time, keep your swords sharp and your wallets safe.